All right, guys, how we doing? I'm Chris. We're from the Sights and Sounds. We're here in Gulf Shores, Alabama, with Moon Taxi. What's up, guys? How we doing? What's up, man? Good to be here. What's going on, man? Like a new baby. How would you describe your music to someone who's never heard it before? Uh, it's a beautiful explosion of rock and roll and uh, lights and fire. Fire. Um, all the way. Yeah, and um, it's you know it's for the whole family. Whole family, cool. Well, you guys are hangout veterans. You've been here. This is your third year now. What's been your favorite part of the festival? What brings you back year after year? Uh, I think the beach vibe and just getting to see all the great artists they bring in every year uh, is really exciting. And you know, watching shows on the beach is pretty stunning. The amenities are fantastic. Like being able to just hang out in sort of a private area, stick your feet in a pool and watch, you know, watch shovels and rope while sitting in a pool earlier today. Awesome. We talked a little, little bit off camera about the jet skis and stuff. Have you guys been in the ocean yet? I have a huge paranoia of sharks, so I don't get close to the ocean. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I stuck my feet in this morning and it was freezing. So I just kind of stayed in there for about five minutes and got used to it. So I've been about knee deep. That's about it, though. Are you planning to do any body surfing or any of that kind of thing? Um, I've got one of those little buggy boards that I might try to like fake my way through doing the little surf thing. Yeah, I'll probably just fall on my ass. Yeah. Right on. So you guys have been touring quite a bit now, extensively, um, just over the last couple of years. What's some of the craziest things you've seen while you've been on tour? Um, got anything? Um, I mean, how, how PG do we have to keep this? This is, uh, we are unrated. So you guys are welcome to say anything. I think the craziest thing that I... I didn't actually see this happen, but one of our former crew members had to had to take crap, and there was nowhere to crap. So he literally took a shit on the side of his house and ran back in and kept running lights for us. Uh, we had eaten a bunch of bad pizza that night, and there was just nowhere for him to go. So he ran outside, did his thing, and ran back in. Now... I'm assuming he wiped. He said he used the leaves. The leaves. leaves. Yeah. He said he used leaves. All right. Why do you think some bands make it and some bands don't? Uh, a lot of it is just fierce determination and not letting minor setbacks become permanent setbacks. Um, but I mean, all that said, you have to be good to start with. You have to write good music. Well, you should try to write good music. Sometimes that doesn't seem to matter. But. Uh, Having you know, having the right idea and having a something you actually know what you're going for and how to go about you know achieving that. And there's a million ways to do it. There's not a, a one way, one one answer to, to success. But it's knowing how to get what you want. You know, meet the end goal. Now you hold on to this for a second. Sure. I wanted to slip this in your pocket without you knowing. It would have been really. Somebody's creepy. actually already done that to me. So I wanted to give you that. This is a game they play, yeah. and you guys know the game, and I was just brought into the game. I wanted to slip in your pocket, but officially, if you want to read that for the I game... I my life down the tree. What did we get? The red coats are coming. So this is something that this, these guys do. If you guys want to explain, you just slip it into each other's pockets, right? It's, it's a game called Secret Feelings, and literally, you write down just a random phrase. We like to put hashtags on the back, too, just in case anyone wants to take it a little bit further. But uh, yeah, you just slip it into someone's pocket without without them figuring it out, and it's just kind of a little little fun extra thing to do. I reached, I reached into my pocket a second ago and found one, and it said, "You are magnificent," and my heart swelled, and it's gonna be a good day. That's awesome. I actually think I have one in my fanny pack. It's it's waiting there for me. Yeah. When you guys die, would you rather come back as a ghost or reincarnate as something else? And you get to pick what you reincarnate as. So. Uh, that's, that's a good one. Uh, but ghost all the way. Ghost? Sure, yeah. I'm going to be contrarian again. I'm gonna, I'd like to reincarnate as Neil Peart. Oh, wow. All right, that's a good one. With the drums and everything, right, of maybe, course. Maybe just reincarnate as his drum set. That'd be as fun. Neil Peart's drum set. Yeah, that's, a, that's one I've never heard before. That's awesome. That would be painful. Yeah, it'd be really painful. You'd bang a lot. No pun intended. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Um, now, if you guys could write yourself a letter today and have it delivered to yourself two years ago, what would you write in that letter? Don't take the brown acid. 
Proud asses. Okay. Bonnaroo bad experience. I actually I, I caught you guys at Bonnaroo last year. Well, you caught it. Yeah, caught me before the Brown Asses. <laughs> yeah. All right. How about yourself? Um, I would say hang in there. It's two years ago. I don't think we were as, as happy right now as, as we. Yeah. You know, I, I would I would say hang in there. These things are getting better. Uh, if you could have a stage made of anything or have it anywhere in the world, where or what would it be? Um, a stage that was all glass and underneath was an aquarium. It would be sweet. And you know, you probably want to just go ahead and do that in Iceland. No sharks in the aquarium. Well, they can be in the aquarium. Just as long as you're not. As long as they can't like nibble in my leg. Although that there could be a disaster and the whole band could fall into it. But you know, that's the price you pay for rock and roll. I think a stage made out of Jägermeister, like actual liquid Jägermeister, would be cool. I don't know how we would actually stay on the stage because I don't, I don't want it to be solid. I think Jaeger is kind of in between. It's kind of in between, yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. you actually could stand on Jägermeister. Maybe if the stage was just a giant Jägermeister dispenser. That would really tell it where. I don't know where. It, it could be anywhere. Anywhere? It could be here. If you have a Jägermeister stage, it doesn't really matter where it's at. Yeah. It should probably be at like a frat house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. What's your spirit animal? Um, I think mine is a kitty cat. Uh, I have two cats, and I actually think my, my beautiful girl cat Nico is my spirit animal. I think mine's actually probably a possum. A possum? Yeah. Can you explain that a little bit? Yeah, I like to hang upside down a lot. All right. Good answer. You got that one thought through. All right, guys. I appreciate you hanging out and talking with me a little bit. Enjoy the rest of your time while you're here. Um, and your performance tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see it. You do that. <laughs> We're going to end it. This is Moon Taxi. And you're hanging with the sights and sounds. Word. All right, guys. Thanks very much. Appreciate it.